It's your girl Earl from Embracing Reborns. And we have with us little Miss Reba Grace and baby Canella. They already been fed this morning and went back to sleep. But I want to get them up and change for the day. I'm going to try to attempt to do them both on the same video. And if that doesn't work, if it be too long, then we'll have to split it in two. But due to the fact that it's raining outside, and at the end of every rain session is somewhere, always is a rainbow, we decide we're going to do our little mystical theme. And we're going to do unicorns today. This day, little, well, they big stuff, unicorn. And we can put that right up here for the time being. And even me, myself, I have on my unicorn pajamas. And the top said, I just want to be a unicorn. And the pajama pants is a pink velour with unicorns all over it. So I decided we're going to put them on a unicorn. I'm going to put this carrot down and try to pick them up one at a time. Because I think I'm going to use the poppy. And we're going to do the... Um, And this is a unicorn blanket with the little unicorn lobby that comes with it by Baby Starters. And actually when I um, knew I was getting them, I wanted to do unicorn theme for these two. So I even got the unicorn earrings for myself and unicorn pajamas, my sleeper shorts. They got uniform PJs. Even the low chest that I keep the um, passies in. If I can get it closed right now. I'll show you. The low chest right here. It says Believe in Magic. It has the unicorns on it. And this is what I keep the pacifiers and low brush and stuff in. And just because I moved it from where it was at, now I didn't want to fall down. Let me get this off and put this blanket on here. And then we can get this video started. I hope everyone is having a blessed day. You know, I appreciate all the comments everybody's been leaving me about these two babies. And I feel very honored and blessed to finally have a silicone doll in my collection. Not only to have a silicone doll, but to actually even have a doll from Claire Taylor. For years, I've been watching other people with their dolls on YouTube. And like I said, I didn't have any content on my channel so therefore i just had it blocked because you can't leave a message on youtube well at least i don't think you can unless you created a channel and i always wanted to comment on a lot of people's video for years and even though i was a reborn collector i guess you what you would call me a closet collector because well, I, you know, it was close because all my family and friends knew, I, anybody came to my house knew I was a doll collector because, like I said, one whole room was full with just dolls. And this blanket is so soft and pretty. And we can start with the little one first. Little Miss Canella. And let me see if I got her still in frame. Let me see if I can come in a little bit closer. Okay. And we got her little unicorn set. And this also is by Carter. Now I know this set is way too big for her. Even though it's the same size as the set she have on. And we got it from Wooby Babies. And 
is the little jacket it says sweetheart with the little unicorn on it she has her little unicorn onesie and like i said this is the carters and this was originally a size 24 months and she cut it down to fit uh 14 inches because i ordered all everything i ordered from Wooby babies i ordered 14 inch she got the little shoes the little hat and the little pants but i think i'm gonna save the pants and the jacket for another day and we're just going to do the unicorn little onesie set i think i don't know i might try little pants on them i don't know take your hat off i don't know what i undo with her little passy it's so tiny and i ordered her several other little passies and for the love of me, I can't find one pretty passy. You know, what I do with any of them right now. Oh, where's her little mitts? Her little mitts on her little finger. I see this little baby got the tiniest little fingers. Now, I, even though I enjoy my silicone doll, I. Don't think I'll be changing them as often as I change the rebonds. And I don't want my rebonds to feel bad that I have to get about them because of the silicone doll. So I want to give everybody they do time here on my channel. So I'm going to change this one today. And like I say, little Reva. And then I'm going to probably do one changing of the silicones a week and then do my rebonds throughout the week and stuff like that so everybody can get their fair share because i don't care for one doll no better than the other i love all my kids the same even though i know this one is brand new and everybody would probably like to see more of them and i look let me let you turn around and say hi to your little aunties and uncles. Say hey. So they can get a good look at you. I hope you're a friend for that. I'm hoping. And like I said, this is this little outfit is by Carter's. You know, when I first got them, I, I was happy and excited to know that they were actually on their way. And then once they got here, these dolls look so, so real. And I just knew when I got her, I would have them in the room with me. And now I do interact with them around the house. But when nighttime comes... I can never understand why when I would take my rebounds out, people, oh, that scared me because they look so real, look so real. Something about these silicone dolls really is scary to me because they, re not only they look real, they feel real. And like I said, I don't have no other silicone dolls to compare them to. So... I don't know if all silicones look like this, but these baby skin, and it could be, I don't know if it's the silicone or it's just the painting technique with the marbling and veins and everything, but they look very, very real. And I do think for me for right now, Even though everybody said they like the open eyes. I mean, they like the closed eyes. So when you take them out, the baby looks like it's sleeping. And I do agree with that. But as far as um, being around the house and interacting with, I think I kind of like this little mini one because her eyes open. And I know she's a dog, but she can't blink. But when you got the closed eye white and you look at that there, 
And I guess because, and I don't know if because, like I say, it's so new to me. Just, you know, in the past couple of years, I had a cousin. Because of the medications I take, I'm always to the bathroom all night long. And so every two hours when I get up to go to the bathroom, I would call her and make sure she's feeding her baby. And she and I had just had a conversation. And my sister called from um, work. And I tell her, I said, oh, this is my sister calling long distance. I'll call you back. And she called me, and I, I like, what the devil she calling me for? And I just told her I'm, I got a long distance phone call, and just, just the screams that was on the other end. She went back to go feed the baby, and the baby had passed away, and just all of that just really freaks me out. And I, and like I said, I met them in the ambulance at the hospital, and. That close eye baby be freaking me out from time to time. So I'm scared to have her in the room with me. And I know it's a dog, but it just kind of messes with me a little psychologically, I think. But um, And I know within time, I, I, I'll get used to having her around. But in the meantime, you know, just for the sake of this video, let's tr see how big these pants really are on you. So they look as long as you, but let's stretch your little legs up. Like I say, she got armatures in her legs, so she could stretch her legs straight out. <laughs> little legs, too little. But look how soft he is. Oh, he is. Pinch him all day long because he's so soft. And the little pants got the little star patch on, I mean, on the, um, on the knees of the um, pants. And Bohemian um, doll lover said that she liked the um, the 14 inch clothes on her because it fits kind of loose. And, and in a way, when you do see a preemie out there in real life, the doll, I mean, the real babies clothes are big on them because they so tiny and they never fall in their clothes so it does make it look more realistic so that ain't bad oh let me find out you got little pants oh, your little shoes falling off your little feet your little booty's kind of big on them but her valentine outfit um whoopie baby had a set on there and it was for a 12 inch and I ordered a 12 inch for her for Valentine's Day. So we'll see how the 12 inch compared to the 14 inch does on her. This video seems like it's pretty long with me just trying to dress this one. Oops, let me gather this up. So I'm not sure if I'm going to have time to get Reva dressed on the same thing. But I'll still go on and do it in one continuous video. If it takes too long and YouTube won't let me. Oh, Lord. See your little hand? The, the mitt's so big. I can't see. See your little hand in the mitt. See the, and that's what I didn't want to do. Come on screen and feel like I'm struggling. And he's so soft. He's little fingers and everything. Keep falling up. Let me just pull it up this way here. Because I don't want to pull her by her fingers. Because they're so tiny. Okay, let me grab the arm. And pull a little right through. There it goes. Okay, note to self. No more outfit with jackets. Because <laughs> that's a hot mess. Oh, you got a little set on. But it is um, a little cool, so she could keep her little jacket set on. Oh, look at there. Oh, you can take your mitts off now. Oh, yeah, look at the hand. Oh, they should have left the mitts on. Got all your little fingers out. Straighten up your hands. 
That'll work because you can scrape your own though. That's right. But she got armatures in her hands as well as in her arms as well as her legs. So she could straighten her hands out. Oops. <sighs> Trying to keep up with these little mitts. And that 14 inch really fit her good. So like I say, anybody else who have these little dolls, let me see if I can get up and have her bring her a little closer to the screen. Anybody who have these little dolls here, and you're looking for outfits, I, I forget to put it on the last one, but I will put the link to Wooby Baby. She, she's on Facebook as well as... um on now let me take her side she's on facebook as well as she got an etsy shop but like i said on the last video her husband is in the military in the marines and they move into japan so i'm not sure how um long she gonna be or if she's still selling things or not but regardless of that i'll still link her thing in the description down below and this is little miss reva grace she got her little This one, this is a, she's a full size doll. That's a big, that's a heavy little baby. Even though I believe she's only either 18 or 19 inches, if I'm not mistaken. And I want to say she's only 17 pounds. <sighs> she got some weight to her. And I think it feels more heavy to me because I've had rotator cuff surgery on my left arm, as well as I had a frozen shoulder. At the same time, they did the rotator cuff surgery, and I actually came home with a pain pump and everything still connected to me. But not only that, I got um, heard at the beauty salon a couple of um, years ago, and I had to have tendon. Now, you see the scar right here? I had tendon release, um, my decrovarius tendon release in the same arm so this arm on this side is so weak for me so when it comes to me holding this picking this baby up it puts a lot of weight of that that side is still very very tender and weak now i'm gonna tell everybody when now and this is just my opinion i don't know about anybody else's but even with my newborn babies, I always, and that's why I think I like the Saskia kit as well as the Marianne, which is my Victoria and my, and, um, and no, Kensington, because their hands are doing something. And I like when your, um, hands all either have a finger out or curl or, and even like pocket can't fingers, he got one ball fist, but his little fingers like curved down. But this one here with the hand spread out and my little Siri I just got, her hand is spread out as well. It's hard to dress those babies when they got the hands out. We're going to put her on her little Carter's um unicorn onesie as well. And both of them have on the same print. So I think if anybody want, and oh, before I go there, this alpha, um, the same manufacturer price is $16.
BBs or us have, if you go on their website, they only got the premium one in stock right now. But if you go to the store, I, well, at least I'll store here in Charleston, they got all the, a lot of their Carter sleepers and um, a couple of other brands. They're on sale right now for either six or eight dollars. I can't remember because I even been, when I got um, the premium one from Wooby Babies, I've been looking for this printer ever since, and and our Carter's um, store didn't have it. And I went online to BB's or Us, and like I said, they only had the premium one, and I needed her one in newborn. And I actually went on eBay because if you anybody looking for any unicorn thing, you go on eBay and put it. Um, newborn i mean unicorn baby clothes and these kids got all the unicorn um cloth diapers and everything the um the unicorn diaper cover and like i showed in the previous video which i'm gonna change hers out in a second she got even the unicorn pacifier But I think if you want to get a silicone, especially somebody for the first time, I think it's much easier to get one with the ball up first. That's what I was getting at. I had lost my train of thought. And y'all forgive me when I be doing these videos and look like I'm just scatterbrained all over the place. But I really sometimes do forget what I'm saying in the mid sentence. on her. I meant to bring her undershirt to put on. And I say that every video. The last, no, the last time I had the undershirt, but since the outfit came with a onesie, we didn't put the undershirt on her. But this time, I did mean to bring it. And I forgot. And I don't want it to be too, too long, so we could try to move this right along. And I also want to show Two other things that I purchased from the Etsy shop for her. I think I showed it the other day. I'm not sure. I sh showing a lot of holes doing my nesting stage for these dogs. But it was somebody who had this onesie here on eBay. And they wanted so much for the little onesie. And even though I had... They had to make an offer, but they never accepted the offer that I made. And the Lord fixed it for me to walk in that store and get this finest onesie without even have to pay shipping. And I got it for cheaper than what I even had made the offer for. So that's a blessing. But I just wanted to pick that out there in case somebody liked this um, video. You know, she got armatures on, but every time I fool with one on, I think the other one be moving and stuff. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. But this open hand is just so hard to dress. Put her in clothes and sleeves and stuff like that. Whereas the clothes hand is, is much, much more easier. Claire was even nice enough. When she sent them, she gave me a tube of lubricant, and I don't, did I bring it, is it in this, um, oh yeah, this right here. I'll never forget when me and mom went shopping and getting things for these dolls. And I told her I needed lubricant. She could tell me, lubricant, what do you need lubricant? I said, because you gotta put the lube but now both of us shame you know even though i'm 40 something she's 70 something and i'm 47 <laughs> yes we still shame to go in the stores to get certain things and i purchased i grabbed the um no name brand and she was like well didn't they say i'm um, to use the key i said well both of them do the same thing and she said 
Well, you need to get the name. I already had the no, the no name brand in this in the buggy. She goes telling me I need to get the name brand so I don't mess it all up. And this brand, this tool that Claire sent me, this is by Dr. Sh Sheffield's lubricant gel. And it ain't like this KY jelly brand. But I told her we going to self checkout because. But I got, because I still refused to give with pick the other one up because it was such a good price on it. And I told her, we're not going to, uh, even though this one does match her thing, but I wanted to put this one on because it has, I don't know if you can see it or not, the little unicorns on on um, the passing. I don't know if you can see that or not, but it has two unicorns on it and like I said I, I got these unicorn and these also by new because in clear video she said this is the brand Passy that that comes with her the little nook ones so I wanted to keep her with that same kind for now even though that wasn't a nook I just took out of her mouth but when I wanted to go with this unicorn theme and this little thing said, dream and little dream. And that's her little unicorn lovey. And I got these in the mail for her. I had ordered for her. And let me see if I can put the shop a little closer. Let me see. Let me get it to zoom in. Because every time I do this, it never focuses. But anyway, I, I'll still put the link down below. And um, it's by Gina Glasgow, but the name of her shop is Lilac Blossom Boutique. And she makes the prettiest headbands. And because I really wanted to put her on Unicorn the first day I got her. And I ordered... This one here with the unicorns running around the lasket. And it has her name on it, say Reva. And if you look at it, the same color in her onesies and her little lovey. It's the same color on this um, headband here with her name on it. And, and the thing about her, head, her headbands, they got... They come in different sizes for the different size head. And I went back on Claire's site and they said her head circumference, if I'm not mistaken, was 14, oh, 14 and a half, something like that. But anyway, that's why I ordered the one that fit that her head circumference versus buying the, the other, which is the, the largest one the lady have. Which is good in a week so you don't have to worry about the last get leaving a print on the silicone. And then I also got her this sparkly one, say brand spanking new, because she's my new little girl, and I wanted her to have one with sparkles. So we got her that, and like I said, I'll pick them. Let me put this little one back up by her, and both of them got on a little. These little two is, oh, your little hands keep coming out of your little sleeves. And now, they have a new unicorn outfit. I'll zoom in on them in a second. She holding Lovey on this side. She holding her little sister on that side. And I'll bring the camera around. And we can... Set their little unicorn. Oh goodness, the unicorn probably too big for them. We'll set this unicorn where I'm sitting at, right beside them. And the unicorn t-shirt say, you're one of a kind. And that's the unicorn. Let me see. That's both of them. And let me zoom in on that headband so y'all can see. Oops. The headband has her name on it, say Reva, and has the little unicorn right there. And then on the side of the headbands, 
it has the little unicorns. And let me put her little jacket down. Her little onesie has the same print as her sleeper. And then on her sleeper, it has the unicorn little um, heads on it. And the blanket they have has the rainbow and clouds. And it came with the little uniform, unicorn lobby. And there you go. You see her with her uniform unicorn pacifier. You know, I always say in my videos, y'all know. When I pick a theme, I try to fully commit. <laughs> Gotta love the dumbness. And in that pacifier pack, it came with two in the pack. But like I say, in the stores here, you can't find a unicorn. You have to go on eBay and order them. And that's the unicorn big stuff animal saying you're one of a kind. That I got now for Valentine's Day that we used in earlier in the video. And these are my unicorn pajamas. And down the side of my legs it has the sequence a dream. And we all just going to lounge around here today with the uh, unicorns theme. Let me see if I can get this prop back up. Showing them. Yep. And, and I'm going to set my hot tea in my little unicorn coffee mug and say, you are magical. Once again, get a little sip of that because all this rambling I am didn't throw it dry. This your girl Earl with a brace and rebounds. I hope you all enjoyed this video. This is our little morning routine today with these two young ladies, little Miss Canella. My little petite, little dainty baby, and little Miss Reva Grace. I hope everyone have a blessed day today. Talk to y'all later, and thanks for stopping by.